Hello everyone, I am Golden Ashley. I am here to present Transmute Layer Protocol. So, on completion of this video, students will be able to explain what is Transport Layer Protocol and what is PSFO and ESRT Protocol. Transport Layer Protocol. So, in this uh, layer provides end-to-end -end segment transportation where messages are segmented into a chain of segments at the source and uh, or reassembled back into the original message at the destination node. So, transport protocol are used to, to mitigate the congestion, reduce packet loss, provide fairness in bandwidth allocation and guarantee end-to-end -end reliability. So, WSN transport layer actually protocols such as uh, pump slowly fetch quickly. So, PSFQ and even to sync reliable pro protocol ESRT protocol have been designed to provide simple, reliable and guaranteed data delivery. Okay, now we are going to see about the pump slowly fetch quickly PSFQ. So, the sensors which send data to other sensor must ensure that uh, the transmission is taking place slowly. That is pump data slowly. This process is called pump slowly. So, this approach avoid high packet loss rate. So, if a sensor node identifies packet loss, then the sensor node should recover the missing packet. This process is called fetch quickly. So, this quick recovery process will minimize the lost recovery cost. So, error recovery. In a error recovery, actually a performance end to end um, error recovery is not feasible in WSN. So, PSFQ uses a key concept called the hop by hop error recovery. So, in this mechanism, all the intermediate sensors nodes are taking the responsibilities for error recovery. So, data exchange is performed on a hop by hop basis rather than performing end to end basis. So, the WSN, the lost or erroneous packet has to be retransmitted. Sometimes each hop may receive multiple number of uh, same packets. So, this consumes more energy. So, all the erroneous packets have to be maintained in the receiver's queue until receiving error-free packets. Okay, then uh, protocol functions. Actually, PSFQ uh, uses some uh, key functioning. First one is message relaying that is also called as pump operation. Then second one is relay initiated error recovery that is fetch operation. Then select status reporting that means um, report operation. So first one is pump operation. So each sensor node inject sends the data into the network. This message can be received by the neighboring nodes. Okay, so neighboring nodes and uh, can be buffered for relaying the packets to other nodes within the bounded time. And then uh, pump operation works as follows. For how means the pump operation slowly pumps or inject the data to the WSN. So a sender node send a packet to the other sensor. Then after receiving this packet, the sensor will check the data with its local data catch. If the received packet sequence number is same as cached packet, then it will discard the duplicate packets if this is the new message. PSFQ will buffer the packet in packet catch. Then uh, next operation is fetch operation. A sensor node which relay the packet actually forwards the packet will maintain the data in the data catch. If the node detects any packet loss or packets are received with unordered sequence numbers, then the packet is retransmitted from the intermediate node. So, this is possible if uh, the lost data is already buffered at the intermediate node. So, the sensor node uh, which detects the packet loss may initiate error recovery mechanism by sending Acknowledgement and negative acknowledgement message. So, selective status reporting that means report operation. Each sensor node observes the 
status of the already sent packets in the next network uh, to know the error rate so based on the error rate of the uh, previous transmissions the sensor node take uh, decision for further data transmission if a report message could not be able to append more status information then new report message will be created the next is even to sync reliable transport protocol in this esrt protocol provides a solution uh, for transport layer issues it provides reliable event detection and congestion resolution with minimum energy consumptions so this protocol offer even to uh, sync reliable rather than providing end to end reliability so this can be achieved when data about the event is carried out reliably to the sync node then what are the features first self configuration uh then uh, that means csrt protocol support for uh, dynamic topology formed by wsn and achieves flexibility in self configuring the network when topology changes then energy awareness so the minimum possible energy consumption can be achieved by reducing reporting uh, rates so congestion control next one is Uh, here the several packet losses may occur due to the congestion at the sync node so a powerful and suitable congestion uh, control mechanism is used to reduce energy consumption part- particularly at the sync node then fourth one is collective identification so in general sync nodes show uh, some interest in collecting information from the other sensor nodes and will send collectively information to the record node or center so this provide the implementation of even to think uh, even to sync uh, model and thereby reducing network overhead so biased implementation esrt operates on sync nodes with minimum functionalities and thereby reducing heavy load at sync nodes so this improves reliability then last one is esrt reliability okay so in uh, esrt uh, reliability each sync node is expected to receive collective report from each sensor node okay thank you thanks for listening